Now one of the primary uses for PACs is in machine automation. And our newest platform, PAC platform, Compact Rio, is ideally suited for these type of applications. So Kyle and Jonathan are going to show us how we're using Compact Rio and our Compact Vision systems to do high-speed machine automation. Thanks, Tim. An important feature of NI Programmable Automation Controllers, or PACs, is the ability to reconfigure and customize onboard FPGAs with LabVIEW FPGA. This feature is particularly important when automating high-speed machines that require fast and reliable control. In this demonstration, we've taken the Compact Vision System and Compact Rio and built a machine that can sort different size ball bearings on the fly. Now guys, when Kyle says on the fly, he means literally on the fly. The machine we have here is loaded with hundreds of different ball bearings that differ in size by just a sixteenth of an inch. Each ball bearing will travel down a ramp before it drops to the air. As it falls, the compact vision system, acquiring images at 100 images per second, will measure the size of each ball bearing to determine whether it is 1 half inch, 9 sixteenths, or 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. The compact vision system then communicates that result to Compact Rio, which is controlling a high precision primatics rotary stage. As the bearing's still falling through the air, the rotary stage will quickly move to the exact position necessary to deflect the bearing into the correct bin. You want to see it work, Tim? I think I do. All right. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right. Well, I I see the compact Rio system. Yeah. I see the compact vision system. Absolutely. But where are the motion controllers? That's a great question, Tim. So we took LabVIEW FPGA and NI Soft Motion and reconfigured the FPGAs on both the compact vision system and compact Rio so that they both become motion controllers. So the FPGA on the compact vision system is controlling the motor that's dispensing these ball bearings down the ramp. And the FPGA on compact Rio has been reconfigured to control this rotary stage that's powered by a brushless servo motor. With NI Soft Motion, we can turn any NI PAC into a motion controller. So really, Tim, we don't need specialized motion control hardware for this application. We just need NI PACs. Why don't we test our two motion controllers out a bit by uh, speeding things up? You guys up for it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> now, uh, how fast, uh, how fast is your machine control going there? Well, as you can see on the screen, guys, we're sorting about three bearings a second. But uh, I got to be honest with you, Tim, this isn't the work of Kyle and I. This entire sorting machine was built by a team of uh, engineering students from Texas A&M University. <laughs> <laughs> They learned to program with LabVIEW, LabVIEW Real-Time, and LabVIEW FPGA, NI Soft Motion, and the NI Vision Development Module. And they completed this entire sorting machine in just six weeks. Actually, they're here with us today. Guys, come on, stand up. Nathan, Scott, take a bow. Thank you, Jonathan, Kyle, and Texas A&M. 